Welcome back. It's week eight and it's time to do some content. So what's going to be happening this week? In the on-demand lectures we are talking about image and text and knowing that most images come with captions and if we're using best practice all the images should have alt tags we're really looking at where image is your dominant medium and as we dealt with video in the previous episode we're looking at this from the perspective of photos, graphics they don't have to be still so the, the GIF is in play in this uh, arena we've got the live events for the week we have the seminars the tutorial and the forum. Treat the forum like a live event this week because we've got a couple of forum challenges. Also for the seminars, on Monday and Tuesday of week 8 I will be attending an international LEGO Serious Play Practitioner Conference which means I need to wrap up pretty quickly uh, at the end of the sessions and move back to my uh, international conference that I am attending by Zoom. The pro side to the modern era is that I can attend an international conference over Zoom. The con side is I don't get any time off to attend the international conference and that's being held in the Danish time zone. So it's going to be a long late night, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday this week. Your task for the week, go and play with Canva. Go get yourself familiar with this tool. Now, Canva is one of the success stories of the recent internet, uh, and it's also a really robust and very versatile tool to have in your e-marketing portfolio. So get good at it. Go play with it, go practice with it, make content. To that end, also, go cross-promote each other. Uh, hashtag, where is the love? Came out of the tutorials, it's on the forums. One thing to remember is that there are 60-something operators in this course. Cross-promoting, supporting, tagging, engaging in each other's projects drives that organic, but also drives that artificial algorithmic engagement. So get connected, support each other, show up in each other's chats, show up in the threads, back each other up. We've got a real opportunity here with the team. Just get out there and capture it. Now, in the engagement opportunities, the GIF thread is open and it is going to require you to use the advanced button. One of the things, uh, the Wattle Forum has two modes. It has a text-only mode and then it has the much more powerful advanced mode. <sighs> Historically, every software package I use increasingly uses moves the features that I rely on for day-to-day -day operation onto the, the advanced menu. Wattle's done it between 2020 and 2021. Zoom's currently in the process of doing it. So when you are using software, get used to actually seeing an advanced button, pressing it, and playing with the super user features because that's where the fun stuff happens. Now I have to lean out of the way of my image. Also, on your engagement opportunities for the week, we have the recap padlets. Thank you to everyone who's been back in uh, as of week seven. But also, for those of you who haven't been on the recaps, get in there. Part of the recap. Now, there are 60 plus people in this course, and I have not yet seen 60 people in the recap padlet. The idea behind the recap is it's personal observation. It's you going and saying, what worked for you this week? It also helps me if there's something that you want to see clarified. It's going to make it a lot easier for me to find that out if you tell me. Also, if there's something you're enjoying, let me know so we can do more of it. Stay connected with us, use the feedback loop, stay in touch. Forum posts, I've mentioned the uh, thread, but there's also, again, continue the conversations. They are building up, they're going nicely. All of you who had community and community engagement as one of your goals for your projects, again, it's a rehearsal. It's a chance to train and practice. But also, there's a question uh, under the week eight thread. And it's an interesting question one. It could be a generational thing here. And this is the idea of the nested directories. 
and storing files and folders and directories versus treating the hard drive as one big bucket that you then search through later. So here's my question for you to answer out in the forums. Do you have lots of subfolders and subfolders or is everything just in the one place and you use the search function? How do you operate? And in the downloadable content round, the bonus round, Get Hype Challenge is still underway. You're playing with Canva this week. Take the opportunity. Go make use of it and create some hype. Nominator Mate comes into its final week, so if you have been shouting out friends, uh, this is your last chance to do this for the week. And also, we still have a few front-end logos to go. Uh, the thread is still open, and those bonus points are still there for the taking. So, if you've already scored, done one previously, up the ante, take a second, take a third. There's no cap on how many of these you can do. In fact, since you're playing with Canva, again, use some practice and training rounds of create, use the Canva content, and use the Canva system to create the get hype and the front end logos. So finally, on the things to do for this week, last thing I'd ask of you is, if you haven't checked your ePortfolio, could you do so please? Uh, I've had a couple of students reach out to me, there are some problems um, happening, uh, they are technical level issues, uh, it looks like something that we're going to need to bring in a new IT on, so please log into your ePortfolio, make certain you can access it and edit it. If you can't see the ePortfolio, it's ePortfolio.anu.edu.au, there's links in the Waddle site, please reach out, let me know, because I'd rather be trying to solve this now than when it's due. Continue, obviously, uh, making the content for the projects, keep working on that front, and also, remember, as a collective unit, you voted to have no live learning seminars in week nine because we've got the public holiday. Also, daylight savings time is about to happen. I have never agreed with daylight savings. I'm not going to start the argument here other than to say, uh, basically, making up time as we go along. Time is already immaterial and made up. Making up... Uh, Convincing everyone that the time is different now because the government said so is one of those weird things. But also, this does mean that there is now a multi. There are now more time zones operating in Australia. Uh, so Perth, Western Australia, Adelaide, Northern Territory, Queensland, and then the uh, summertime squad. So. Good thing about this is the more time zones you operate in, the easier it is for you to get good at international commerce, and the internet is internet by is international by design. So that's the wrap. What's expected of you this week? Get in there and get your projects underway. All of you currently are plowing your way through assignments for other subjects, top work, stay on it, keep your don't forget to um, give us some love and some progress on your assignments on this side. But Look after yourselves. It's still heavy lifting territory out there. It's still a bit of a rough uh, run. And uh, if you're an AFL fan, your season's over. It's all now about uh, starting to think about trades and next year. And if you're an NRL fan, you've still got one weekend left. And the storm are out, which means my predictive skills are absolutely rubbish because I had the rabbit, I had the bunnies going against the storm for my pick. So. Best of luck, whatever team you're backing and uh, whatever you're up to this week. And I'll see you in the seminars.